As I started to mention before the break, most of us know the fairer the skin, the more likely you could get a sunburn. But when it comes to black people, protecting skin from sun damage is still just as important. Meteorologist Danielle Moss breaks it down. It is important, um, you know, that we break this, this misconception that, you know, African-Americans or people of color, you know, shouldn't be wearing sunscreen daily. San Antonio dermatologist Dr. Milton Moore tells his black patients they should get skin checks just as often as those with pale skin, especially when it comes to deadly melanoma. Which is very rare in African-American population. It actually accounts for only 2% of cancer in blacks altogether. They still can get melanoma, but actually black patients get melanoma in places that are, are not so much sun exposed. Dr. Moore says African-Americans are also diagnosed more often in late stages of skin cancer compared to Caucasians. 52% of patients diagnosed with melanoma in advanced stages are black patients, compared with just 16% being white. There's this misconception that the risk of skin cancer you know, is negligible. It really does hinder the black population. Dr. Moore says another issue facing African Americans is the disparity in the black population and lack of access to care and African American dermatologists. Some people may feel like they want to see somebody who looks, you know, similar to them, who understands their skin. And then also without the professional, you know, learning, you know, in residency and training, depending on where you go to school, you may not see any black patients. So things get misdiagnosed. Dr. Moore also says using a daily moisturizing sunscreen plays a huge role in those with acne and preventing post-inflammatory pigmentation, which is a thermal burn caused by the sun. And you should also check the bottoms of your feet for changes in your skin.